Just 55 square metres of space in a business park in Ballycoolin has the ability to produce 55,000 heads of lettuce in a year. Agriland visited the research and development facility for Farmony, where John Paul Pryor filled us in on what we need to know about vertical farming and hydroponics. He sees these small indoor farms as a solution to reducing Ireland's dependence on imports and sees no reason why they can't fit into existing farms around the country. So with vertical farming, you're growing up, so you benefit from a small footprint. So in the case of a farmony, you've got 55 square metres, but your growing surface is actually 80 square metres because we have a growing module, we have 17 of them in three layers, and you have four layers per module. Uh, the output um, and the produce that we grow at Farmony would be all your leafy greens, all your herbs and your microgreens. So highly nutritious, pesticide free uh, because they're within the controlled environment so you don't have to wash your produce. Uh, and to give you an idea of the output equivalent, you're talking about the output equivalent of a five acre farm from one Farmony solution. So uh, the growing season in Ireland is obviously from May to September. Uh, in a farmony, uh, a producer can grow all year round, 365 days a year. So with microgreens, uh, your grow cycle is just six to seven days. So in terms of output, one module can grow 24 trays of microgreens a week and multiply that by 17 and you're at 408 trays of microgreens every week. So it's an impressive output. And so the country imports about 300 million euros worth of produce. Uh, so we're trying to basically offer a solution for producers to replace those imports. We grow all your herbs, so the likes of basil, coriander. In microgreens we grow pea shoots, sunflower shoots. Um, in leaves we grow red mizuna, green mizuna, red mustard, green mustard, all of which you can see in the farm here. Because you're talking about hyper-local produce. Um, these farms could be placed in urban centres, uh, in rural yards, in farmyards, um, and yes, so the, the produce is actually cheaper. With the farming you're in at the moment, as I say, we've used two repurposed 40-foot uh, containers, but for example, if there's farmers who have outhouses or you know, mushroom houses that they're not using, um, they're a perfect fit for the modules. So really what we require and what we can offer a solution uh, is we can build that controlled environment. So yeah, our vision for Farmony is that we have a network of farms trade the country, uh, creating jobs, hopefully inspiring next generation of farmers, uh, really uh, reinvigorating the horticultural sector in the country. It's a real difficult time for farmers for a number of different reasons. So we hope that this uh, can supplement and complement what they're already doing. So if you're growing from May to September, um, this offers you the opportunity to where otherwise the uh, sales would be going uh, abroad and being imported, uh, you can hopefully um, maintain your customer base all year round. The Farmony model is to replace imports of salad, herbs and microgreens coming into the country with locally sourced produce. The company has received funding which is also available to farmers interested in these farms. The key focus is replacing import replacement. Uh, we were delighted with the support that we got from the Department of Agriculture and Chagas on this project. Uh, from the business plan, we were able to get the horticultural grant in 2019. Uh, so we're encouraging producers to perhaps apply for the horticultural grant uh, for 2020. John Paul has a background in IT and described a little bit about how the farm actually works. We use hydroponic technology, so there is a constant water flow uh, throughout the module. First of all, the process is you seed sow, um, then you transplant, uh, and then basically the roots take their nutrients from the water solution that's ebbing and flowing throughout the module. Uh, another big part of Farmony is our customised hardware and software solution. So you have the ability to record and analyse your data from your farm uh, remotely. So you could be over the other side of the world, speeding up your farm, slowing down your farm. And that's down to the various um, elements like your irrigation system. So that's fully automated. So each module and your produce will require nutrients. So how we measure that uh, within the water is your EC and your pH. Um, and that information is automatically sent back to a master controller, which then reacts and sends your nutrients through to the module. Um, and it also sends your water to ensure that the water level is correct on each module. When you have a farmony on site and you want to grow basil, for example, uh, you'll do your seed sow, you'll do your transplant, and then it goes into the system, the lights come on and off 
automatically, the nutrients go in and out automatically. So in terms of labor, we would estimate you're looking at probably 25 to 30 hours per week uh, of labor, and that's taken up by your seed sowing, um, your transplanting, uh, your harvesting, obviously, um, and then just cleaning the modules.